Hello, welcome to Postcolonial Space. I'm Masood Raja, and this is sort of an end of the year video with the aim to, of course, thank you all for your constant support throughout the year, but also to give you an overview of the year and also maybe some hints about where I would like to take this channel with your support in the year 2023. Now, this was a really hard year for me in so many ways. As you all are aware, uh, I ended my academic career on my own terms, left the academy. My wife and I, we both moved to Wheeling, West Virginia so that we can be close to her family and take care of them, which we have been doing throughout this year. But both of us ended up leaving our very stable jobs. And then we had to figure out what to do, you know, how to sustain ourselves while also being able to take care of our family. And thankfully, with your support and with the support of so many people in our community here, we both have been able to find things to do that pay us. For me, especially in terms of finances, I have a job, which is good, right? People treat me with respect and it's something that I can do. But also my coaching business have been a has been a great support for us, and I hope to continue building it up. But emotionally speaking, your presence in my life throughout this year, through your comments, your questions, your queries, live interactions during live streams, all of these things to me are the ones that have kept me going in 2022, especially after I've left the Academy. And I've suddenly realized that this channel now is not just about me recording videos and you using them. It's something that emotionally sustains me. It's something that gives me that gift of recognition from you. Whenever one of you finds something useful, whenever you tell me, that there was something in a video that was of some use to you, that means a lot to me. Now, my plans for next year, of course, are I hope to finish my series on Paulo Freire, and then I hope to embark on finishing my series on Edward Said. These are the two things that are immediately in the future for me. But beyond that, I would also like to continue offering writing courses or theory courses through my website, which will be announced on this channel. And I would continue offering my academic success coaching services to all those who might need them. These are some of the immediate plans for the next year. But here is something even more important than these plans and whether they come to fruition or not, and that is my interactions with you. I can't really emphasize it enough that now that I've uh, you know, lost access to the academy and are not actively involved in the classroom, right? right? Interacting with you indirectly through this medium it means a lot to me, and I'm deeply, deeply grateful for that. Now, on a slight trajectory from YouTube, I will also spend some time of 2023 in further developing my podcast. You know we have a podcast. It's called Postcolonial Space. So primarily what I had done was I had extracted audios of a lot of my educational videos and uploaded there. But maybe I'll also make it into more of a personal and, you know, trans interconnected sort of a podcast where 
you get more than just the educational materials. Maybe you'll get something about, I don't know, my life experiences or my understanding of the world. So I, I hope to build the podcast this year as well with your help. So do check it out. It's called Postcolonial Space. It's available on Apple. It's available on Spotify and all the other major podcast platforms. So these are some of the plans, tentative as they may sound, but most importantly, as I've said earlier, the year 2022 was a hard year for me, professionally and in so many ways emotionally. It took its toll on me. It made me question you know, my own assumptions about life or even my own value in the world. And other than family and friends, your presence in my life through this channel, I have no doubt in saying, no hesitation is what enabled me and helped me to keep going, keep thinking in positive terms and keep trying to do some good in the world. Now, you know, when you leave academia in your mid 50s, a lot of people would tell you that that means you're done. It's almost impossible to get back into the academy, especially if you want a full time job with health insurance. So in that sense, I guess my time in the academy is really over unless you know, some miracle happens and someone actually wants me. And things were really bleak in the non-academic job market as well. Uh, I will probably not bore you with that, but I'm grateful that people who hired me, people for whom I work now, you know, they took a chance, they trained me and I get to do some good work for them, I hope. And that's the lesson I have learned in this year is keep people close to you. Never lose hope. Stay positive, whatever happens in your life. And constantly try to give as much of yourself to others as possible. And things you will see they get better, they improve, life gets better. That's the way I've lived my life. That's the way I lived this year. And that's the way I hope to enter the next year with a lot of hope, a lot of resolve and aspirations to do more in this world and to give more of myself to you all and to this world. I hope your year ends at a better note, at a brighter note, and I hope the year 2023 turns out to be the best year of your lives. I wish you all a great and happy new year, and I wish you all success, happiness, peace, and love. I hope until then, you stay safe and take care of each other and I will now see you next time. Until then, as always, peace and love.